How something can be fun. The not so fun part is figuring out some of that mortgage paperwork. How much should you put down and what can you afford? Bank of North Dakota's Lance Hill helps explain that. When choosing a mortgage, you can have a fixed rate mortgage or an adjustable rate mortgage. A fixed rate mortgage means that your principal and interest payments stay the same as long as you have the loan. To be clear, this doesn't include any applicable taxes or insurance. You may be able to refinance the loan later if interest rates fall or your credit or financial situation improves. Adjustable rate mortgages often start out lower than the fixed rate mortgage, but you have no control over your total monthly payment. If interest rates increase quickly, your payment could increase a lot in a short period of time. Understand if there is a minimum payment you'll be expected to make and ensure that you can afford it. Again, this only applies to the mortgage principal and interest portion of the loan payment. Your down payment often affects your mortgage terms. If you have a lower down payment, you may need to take out mortgage insurance and may be charged a higher interest rate, as well as having larger monthly payments. If this is your situation, ask about federally insured loans that may offer lower down payment options, FHA, VA, and USDA programs. There are several housing payment related terms you should understand. When you compare options from different mortgage lenders, it's important to ask if you are required to either make a balloon payment or if there is a prepayment penalty. A balloon payment is a large payment you must make usually at the end of your loan repayment period. This varies on the terms of your loan. A prepayment penalty is sometimes added if you refinance or pay off your loan early, and in some cases, if you sell your home. Both of these have the potential to impact your overall credit report if you aren't prepared. I'm Lance Hill with the Bank of North Dakota. Thanks for watching. If you have more questions on buying a house or anything having to do with your finances, just look for more KX Finance segments like this one at kxnet.com.